Hello and welcome back and today we are reacting to Die For You, the remix version from the weekend now featuring the one and only Ariana Grande. Because yes, Ariana did take a break from uh, filming, I was about to say The Wizard of Oz, but it's the other one that matches in the same, the one with the witch, the, the how's it called? Wicked, that's how it's called. I had forgotten the title, Wicked, there we go. So Ariana Grande was taking a break from Wicked to uh, cut a few vocals here and there, as we just saw in the TikTok video that announced the fact that she was now jumping onto the single that originally came out, <laughs> what? like six or seven years ago, I think, from the original Starboy album by The Weeknd. Now, I got a confession to make. I know the song, I know the iconic part of the chorus that everybody knows, but I've never fully listened to it. This is kind of why I'm reacting to it, because it's like I've never fully listened to the song, so it's almost going to be like the first time that I pay attention to it properly, listen to the lyrics and the production and things like that. So I'm just catching up at this point. But, 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 I'm really excited to hear this and hear what Ariana brought to the track. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I mean, the Wicked's voice is amazing. Fellow Canadian from Toronto, I'm from the other province, sex with Quebec, but ne nevertheless, still Canadian. I don't know if the. Pro <sighs> she just knows how to make an entrance. Ooh. No, but that... That was... That was literally the perfect addition to the song. The perfect addition to the song. This is exactly like they're... they're I mean, to a f song that's... Okay, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. That's rude. For a song that was already such a masterpiece and a commercial success, like, it's hard to take it one notch further. But she did it. She fucking did it. Only she would be able to do that. That's wild. Ah. <sighs> That's very intense. I don't think I would kill for anybody. Other than myself. Okay, maybe no, no, I'm not, I would never kill. FBI agent that's listening, please, like, just ignore what I just said. Huh, I was kind of expecting Irina to, like, jump in and add other vocals to it. And, like, have that major, like, ending. Huh. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly listen to the original single. I'm probably not gonna put in my full reaction to it, but I'm gonna listen to the original song just so I can have an idea to compare it because I don't know if the production changed all that much. You know what I'm thinking. See it in your eyes. You hate that you want me. Oh. Well, one thing that I did notice is that the song is like shorter, which makes a lot of sense considering since that song originally came out which was in what 2016 there has been this massive trend of shortening songs to increase the replay numbers um when it comes to streams and you know what i wouldn't even be surprised if they like i don't know went again number one with a song like that the weekend has been dominating charts for years now so it's probably just another power move to like show him that but then again it's like it works but then you needed ariana for that so like Props to Ariana, really. But otherwise, like, perfect vocals. Like, 
I don't know. It's like Ariana. Uh, first of all, the Ariana the weekend pairing has been successful for um, centuries now. No, just years, but like maybe a decade since Love Me Harder came out. And um, you know what? You just don't touch a. No, wait, you don't touch. Huh? <laughs> you don't fix it till it's till it's broken. What am I saying? You don't fix it unless it's broken. No, not even. Don't fix something if it ain't broken. That's what the saying is. There you go. So they pff, took a while to figure that out. Ariana, the weekend winning recipe. You don't change that. You don't touch it. You just let it. The magic happen. I'm just like. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It's a Friday night. I have my whole works week. Works week. I don't even. God, okay, I need to stop this video and wrap it up quickly. Maybe marketing wise, it's a little bit odd as a move to like bring back such an old song and add somebody else to it. But I have a feeling, and this is my guess, that maybe Ariana was listening to a song, had an idea, proposed it to, to The Weeknd, was like, hey, do you mind if I record this and like we just put it out for fun? So I think it might have been more of a fun thing than a commercial move, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. No, I'm not surprised, it just matches it exactly what I expected out of it. So this was my reaction to the Die For You remix featuring Ariana Grande by The Weeknd. And uh, I hope you liked my reaction. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification to know when my next reactions and other types of content come out, as well as leave a comment and, uh, and subscribe. Yes, I said that already. Like the video, that's what I meant to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, that was a, I del... <sighs> Bye, guys.